The anatomical landmarks that are used in this procedure are the umbilicus and the anterior superior iliac spine. The skin incision is made obliquely in the Langer skin lines at McBurney's point, two-thirds of the way from the umbilicus to the anterior superior iliac spine. The incision is approximately 5 cm long. For cosmetic reasons, a more lower and lateral incision can be made. Retract the skin with sharp retractors. The subcutaneous tissue is separated with electrocautery until the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle is reached. Incise the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle along the direction of its fibers. The subcutis. The aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle and the external oblique muscle. Split the external and underlying internal oblique muscles and transverse abdominal muscle parallel to its fibers with two dissection forceps. Hold the muscles aside with retractors. peritoneum with overlying peritoneal fat. Lift the peritoneum with the forceps and postpone cutting the peritoneum until the silver sign is seen. Here you see the silver sign as a reflection of the scissor blade through the peritoneum. This maneuver can also be done with a finger. Using this maneuver, the risk of perforating intraperitoneal organs is reduced.